from Fred Phelps to the Kinsey Six. The best of the best from Central Kansas and beyond. We do it all. We are KJAG Radio and the Jiggy Jaguar Radio Show. Log on to JiggyJaguar.com and KJAGRadio.com for more. Jiggy Jaguar, of course, from KJAGRadio.com. We're getting ready to speak to Representative Paul Kurtman on principles, not politics. Uh, his uh, presentation he's giving here tonight at the uh, Ramada Inn here in Hutchinson, Kansas. So we're going to be chatting with him right now. Go ahead and uh, introduce yourself, sir. My name is Paul Kurtman. I'm a state representative from Missouri. Now, uh, tell us what you're doing here in Hutchinson tonight at the uh, Well, uh, the organization here had uh, asked me several weeks ago to come out and just give a little talk about the United States Constitution. So my calendar cool. was free, so I told them I'd come. That's cool. Now, uh, some of the problems that Kansas and Missouri, do they share some of the, some of the same problems with, with the rest of the country and things like that, or have you? Well, on a statewide basis, I probably really couldn't address that, just yeah. because I'm not sure what the the agenda for yeah. the Kansas State House is. But I'd say on a national yeah. level, absolutely. Yeah. Um, unemployment is a national concern. Yeah. We got uh, the best and the brightest from Missouri and Kansas going to places like Iraq and Afghanistan. So, on a scale like that, definitely. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Now, what are some of the things that you're that your job entails and, and the, the people elected you to do and, and things? Well, the people elected me first and foremost to protect their freedom and liberty. The purpose yeah. of government is to protect people's freedom. Um, it's not just the military that does that. Uh, all public servants, people that are elected to the legislature, to the office, or to an executive office, the proper role of government, the purpose of government, according to the Declaration of Independence, is to protect people's freedom and liberty. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. So. Now, uh, how have you seen politics change from the time you got elected to coming up now with the presidential election and things? Well, I got elected almost one year ago today. Yeah. So in that time frame, I'm not so sure that there's a whole lot that I can say, that I, not a whole lot that I can probably pinpoint and say this has changed and this has changed. Yeah. But I will say that I think that the general attitude of the public has continued to change like it has for several years. Yeah. Um, when I say several, I mean probably for over the last 10 or 15 oh, yeah. years. And uh, and I think that the attitude of the people that are in office is changing along with the people, <laughs> you know. I think, yeah. I mean, for example, when you look at the GOP selection that we have for our presidential nominee, yeah. um, there's a lot more conservatives up there than there was in 2008. Yeah. And I think that the reason is because that's what the people are asking for. Yeah. Now, with, uh, with the conservative movement and everything kind of on the rise again and uh, trying to unseat uh, Barack Obama, uh, what, what do you think of the, of the field of presidential people that are going to be running this next time, that, that are already in the, that are, that are in running the for the nomination and everything? Yeah. Right now, there's some that I'm real disappointed with and some that I'm really <laughs> happy with, and I think that... I think that over the course of the next year, because we still got yeah. a whole year for campaigning for the most yeah. part, I think that I would not be surprised at all if everything that I think I feel right now gets completely turned upside down on its head. Yeah. You just, you're just not sure because different things come out almost on a daily basis about a candidate or else they say something that yeah. you just totally weren't expecting. Yeah. Or it might, they, you know, they might have caught something right out of left field, you know, and yeah. No pun intended, but kind of pun intended. You know, when you see yeah. a, when a when a Republican candidate stands up and clings to one of the tenets of liberalism, yeah, you know, kind of disappointing sometimes. Yeah. But I guess we'll see as things kind of play out oh, over the next cool. year. Now, do you think there's going to be just somebody that that isn't running right now that's just going to emerge, or do you think that the know. field we have now is going to be the the field that's running for the nomination? I don't know. I'm I'm probably not the best political analyst maybe, yeah. but I think that um, when you got somebody who has a strong lead like uh, Mitt Romney, yeah. and uh, and his numbers haven't fluctuated to the extreme highs and lows, yeah. so if they've been pretty consistent, they might continue to be for the next year, so that might be something. Ron Paul's also been somewhat consistent, yeah. and I think that when you see people that have pretty consistent polling numbers, that that's probably what's intimidating, because there might not be a whole lot that a, a new candidate might be able to bring to the yeah. table to bring them down. Yeah. Well, uh, what what do you have uh, goal wise for this for this next year, coming up on basically your your one year anniversary being elected? Goal wise, as far as as, uh, as far as what you're wanting to accomplish in the legislature, yeah, Missouri legislature, yes. Uh, 
I've got a list of things. Several <laughs> from uh, several from from my district for yeah. sure. Issues that people have brought to me and that I want to make sure that I definitely address and get as far as I can through the legislative process. Um, I also like to look at things. I believe in federalism. I believe in the checks and balances on state and federal government. Yeah. So there are some uh, items that I would like to introduce just to draw some attention to the relationship that we have with our federal government and hopefully to draw attention to things. Um, I think, you know, for example, the Federal Reserve Bank, for example, yeah. we all issue, we all use Federal Reserve notes, and I, I think it's a good idea that some legislators at the federal level want to audit them. You know, so maybe yeah. Missouri can kind of get in on that too because we're using, all, everybody in Missouri is using the same money. Yeah. So it might be a good idea for us as a state to, to work towards that. You know, encourage our federal legislatures, our federal counterparts to uh, get behind a bill that yeah. would are the Federal Reserve or, or just any number of things. There's just, there's just a number of issues. Really. It, it, it's, it's, a, it's a great time to, to be in politics and uh, I'm glad that, that you're, you've managed to come past all the all the mudslinging that usually happens in campaigns. Did you have any any type of problems when you were running uh, for the legislature and everything? Did you have a lot of... Just in the sense that I had a difficult opponent. Yeah. Um, there wasn't really any mudslinging. Yeah. Uh, I thought my opponent, he was the incumbent yeah. in the district, and I thought he ran a very pretty clean, honest race, yeah. and I appreciate that. And uh, I sure did my best to do that from my yeah. own personal campaign yeah. also. Oh, that's cool. Well, thanks for speaking with us today, my friend. I really do appreciate it. Ethical behaviors, fiscal responsibility. That is Representative Paul Kirkman. And uh, I thank him for joining us here on kcheckradio.com.